What? Why are you handing me this? What is this? More trash? Better be a written apology. Oh. Oh, look how big you are. Oh, this is very nice. Then we gotta get this frame. Eager Explorers is some of the best fun I've had in Stellaris. There. I said it. Now, you may ask the question, why is this the most fun civic in the game? Well, these primitives can synergize with nearly every single origin within the game. Still though, what, what do they actually do though? Um, well, first of all, there's four different variants of them. They all have a similar core, but are different in the details. The core of Eager Explorers goes as follows. You start as primitives. You're missing most of the main starter tech, and you do not have hyperdrive. Instead, you have a different FTL type, very similarly to set up to jump drive. It's called a subspace drive. It's basically the same thing. You also get two exploration ships and one construction ship. And these come with fancy new models with fusion torches and a blade of shielding. Finally, you have also 10 less pops than usual. And this is kind of where the similarities between the four different types end. Now, the regular Empire type variant gets bonuses to sublight speed as well as a 20% survey speed bonus, whilst also being able to find anomalies 5% faster. It's nothing really to write home about, but it's all about exploration with these guys. However, Megacorp has privatized exploration, which gives you additional star-based buildings, uh, at least on their building speed, increased module speed, upgrade speed, and finally you get access to tier 2 star bases from the start of the game. Arguably, uh, this is also one of the weaker versions. Oh, and by the way, they also get a 25% resource boost from space mines, which is pretty darn nice. Anything involving a 25% boost is rather good. Hive mines get stargazers, and they basically they get a special trait called stargazer, which not only increases habitability, it also increases growth for uh, from immigration, as well as reduce resettlement costs. Essentially, they get the adaptive and nomadic traits for three, but better. So they get a three points worth of trait points for free, basically, through Stargazer. It's crazy good how, how insanely good this particular trait is. On top of that, they can also scout more efficiently using their increased sensor range of plus one. They can instantly see basically everything that is nearby, which is crazy if you think of it. They can also see enemies coming from further uh, with their increased hyperlane detection. And finally, they get a star base reduction influence cost of 20%, which is massive. And that one right there is uh, going to cause some problems down the line. Finally, Exploration Protocols for Robots gives you faster insight processes on primitives, additional unity from first contact situations, approved first contact speed, and monthly unity from outposts. Now on its own, this is a very nice mix of abilities for multiple species types and is effectively an origin in sheep clothing. The only reason why it's not an origin, however, is because the devs wanted it to synergize with other starting options. So here's the question. What sort of fun combos can we get here? Well, if you like pain and if you like roleplay, try Eager Explorers and Doomsday. Be a bunch of primitives that have to escape their doomed homeworld and there is no guaranteed nearby worlds. You've got a different type of FTL, so you're going to struggle a bit. Uh, you also have reduced pops, which is problematic. Uh, yeah, some great, great roleplay there. Being forced off of your doomed planet as primitive sounds like a lot of fun. If you want a bit of a challenge though, try Eager Explorers with Remnants. Start off on a ruined, uh, ruined of a world and uh, basically uh, somebody's come before you. All you have to do is uh, try to figure out what the hell is going on. You start off an Archaeotech building, uh, which by the way is going to instantly nuke your economy, so you probably want to disable that and uh, you're going to struggle. Have fun with that one. Um, you, would you like to spam the galaxy with gore, uh, border gore? Yeah, stargazers and slingshot to the stars have you covered. Because of the inherent bonuses of both uh, types of options, uh, all systems will have a reduction of cost of 95%, which means that you can sling yourself across the galaxy, get extremely strategic systems for extremely cheap. Basically, you could slingshot yourself to the other side of the galaxy and get any system for, say, 120 influence or something along those lines. Uh, mix it up with exploration. Have fun with that one. Finally, a reason to go for slingshot against the stars, or towards the stars even. Uh, you are going to be border gore personified in this particular case. Good fun stuff. Um, would, who would like to eat some ice cream? 
Try exploration protocols and rogue servitors for maximum amount of unity and pops from primitive worlds. Would you like maximum traits? Uh, stargazers and overtuned. You already get those three points for free, so why not take some more going overtuned? Corporate warfare. Clones with privatized exploration for crazy defense, plus being able to attack like crazy map men as well, because you are clones. <laughs> These are just a few examples of things that you can do and... I, like I said, this is probably one of the best parts of the First Contact expansion. I just want more stuff like this. It's just so, so good. So here's the final question that I have. This one's for you, though. What is your favorite eager exploration combination? Is there something that is completely broken? Is there something that is just a lot of fun? Or is there something that you just want to roleplay with? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, though, would you like to know more or more about Fear of the Dark, one of the origins of the First Contact expansion? Well, check out this video that's in front of you right now, and I would very much appreciate it if you go and do that, because it does help the channel and praise the algorithm. Until next time, thank you to my patrons for making this video possible. Take good care of yourself, and as always, keep exploring eagerly.